Hola Scorpio Sun Sagittarius Moons, welcome to your reading for 2020. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. It does not matter the time of year. <clears throat> I'm doing them in requests, in order of requests in the comments, so be sure to post yours up. First portion of this reading, we will go over what your sun moon combination means and what your traits are. I'll then lay out the main cards. <clears throat> we'll take a quick look at your 2020. Second portion of this reading will be the Vimeo link below to uh, the Vimeo reading where I'll have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate quadrants. So let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I'm still getting over allergies. Scorpio Sun, Sagittarius Moons, you all are humanitarians. Very spiritual, very impulsive, and you guys know where you're going in life, okay? Very determined. You have an aim, you know where you're pointing your arrow, and you know where your arrow is going. When you guys enter a room, everybody feels your presence because you're very magnetic, you're a very spiritual being. You have rules in your relationships, but you're always open. I'm sorry, you don't have rules. You're very kind in, when it comes to relationships. You're very affectionate, you're very open. Sometimes you can be a little bit distant and some people view this as superiority or feeling more, you know, more superior than somebody else or maybe arrogant. So be careful of that. But this is, this comes from you being independent, being a free spirit, and you just like to do your own thing um, in the pursuit of truth and wisdom because you all are very wise. Your moon is known for, I mean, you guys are always in the pursuit of learning and higher learning and things like that, okay? Um, I'm like, things like that. <laughs> Unity and idealism are really great qualities that you have and blend, that comes with your Scorpio and that blends really well with your Sagittarius moon. You tend to be a lighthouse to people because you have really great goals, you have a wonderful vision that you'd like to turn into your reality. You're very, um, like I said, very determined. You persevere in situations. You have incredible willpower. You have incredible perspective. And this helps you bring things to the world. Sometimes you think you're right and you have all the answers to everything. Even though at times you guys aren't always right and you do things that are a little bit, um, little off the rails, a little unorthodox. One thing that you all need is a lot, a lot of freedom. Usually rebel against any authority, you rebel against everything. Anybody trying to clip your wings or trying to impose control on you is not cool. And you're going to view them as somebody malicious. You're not going to be very happy with them. Let's put it this way. You like to do what you want to do. You like to express yourself how you like to express yourself. And you like to have adventures. Um, you're never going to encroach on kind of how other people think or what their opinions are or what their rights are. Because you're very honest and you're very loyal. So even though you believe something, you're not going to impress that on other people. You're not going to push that on other people. Um... You lack a filter, so be careful. One of your weaknesses and something you should work in tw on in 2020 is working on that filter between your mind and what your mouth says. Um, you know, you're kind of those people who are like, wait, did I just say that out loud? <laughs> but, so you're very candid, you can be very frank. Um, candor, yeah, there's a difference between truth and candor, I often say. You can be an idealist, very romantic, very tender, very fun-loving. Um, we already talked about you being very loyal and trustworthy. You're very tried and true, okay? There usually isn't a dishonest bone in your body. Interested in your pursuit of discovering the spirit, your spiritual truth or spiritual truth in general. Be careful sometimes your imagination when it comes to just your imagination or what you're thinking in your mind can carry you away and then sometimes that can be the source of paranoia, delusions, phobias. Sometimes you look at things from a perspective that sometimes uh, skews your judgment that is a, a usually a good judgment. 
but in some cases it's not, if that makes any sense. But you're very practical. That comes from your Scorpio sun. Again, a romantic heart. Um, maybe a little bit hard to penetrate. Maybe a little bit hard to get through. Your heart might be a little bit hard to get through. You're sophisticated. You're very on point. You have a lot of strength to explore uncharted maps, ways of thinking, ways of feeling. So that's you guys. Forefront. People on the forefront. The front runners? Front runners? Forerunners? I forget what that saying is. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on for your 2020 Holy Spirit Angels Divine Guides Universe. Can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Scorpio Sun, Sagittarius Moons for the year 2020? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine? And for their greater good. What do you see for January, February, and March for Scorpio Sun, Sagittarius Moons? We have the Hanged Man in reverse. What do you see for April, May, June for Sagittarius Sun, Scorpio Moons? I'm sorry, Scorpio Sun, Sagittarius Moons, the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. What do you see for July, August, September? Scorpio Sun, Sagittarius Moons. We have the Justice card in the upright. And what do you see October, November, December for Scorpio Sun, Sagittarius Moons? All right, we start off January, February, and March. You guys are not going to be sit around waiting forever for something to happen. You're not going to keep on sacrificing for somebody, something, and not getting anything out of it. So you're getting to, to a point, January, February, March, where you're like, you know what? I'll wait a little while longer, but I'm not going to wait forever on this. It could be about a career. It could be about a relationship or what have you. Um, part of this that feeds into this could be that you have an expectation or an outcome that's really, really high, or you're holding on to something that you have imagined in your head. And of course, as a result, you're setting yourself up for disappointment and the person or the entity who is, you know, expected to live up to this stuff isn't going to be able to. So, I mean, it could be, you could have some ownership and some contribution to this, just saying. April, May, June, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. Guess what? You guys don't need anything from anybody. You might have exited that situation in January, February, March and said, you know what? I'm just going to do it alone. I don't need anybody else. I pretty much have everything I need. Um, I don't need anybody or anything in my life unless they're going to significantly add to it. Um, and, and you're feeling really independent at this time. So I don't feel like April, May, June is a, a time for relationships or connecting with people. Um, you're being very self-sufficient, independent, um, and you're working on doing that during this period of time. July, August, September, there could be a legal matter that goes in your favor with the Justice card in the upright. Justice card is also the card of Libra, if that resonates for you. Um, in general, just spiritually in your life we could be talking about finding the right balance between love and personal life or business and love or money and business or whatever um, just finding that right balance and things are really jiving okay uh, you could be standing up for something morally. You could be an advocate. You could be a voice for somebody or a group of people that can't speak for themselves. Um, again, this has law matters uh, associated with it and you trying to make um, make sure that something is in somebody's favor or something that is in your favor or it does end up being in your favor during this period of time. October, November, December find you kind of not knowing where you're going. Um, your judgment, how you're seeing things are a little bit clouded, which brings around about doubt, which brings about chaos. You're having a hard time figuring out a plan. This could be a plan for going into um, 2021. You know, you going, okay, I don't know what's going on right now. Where am I going? Um, where is this headed? You might have a hard time um, you know, triumphing over something, or you might have a hard time getting the power to move forward in regards to something. So it's going to be a little bit, I, I think your, your best period of time is going to be right in the middle of the year. The, the bookends here, maybe not so much. Okay. But I have all the faith you'll figure it out. If you need a personal reading, just 
send me an email, we can go ahead and work that out. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. It'll take you to the clarification portion of this reading where, where we will look into this deeper. Keep in mind, I'm on Instinko if you need an answer to a question. I'm on Facebook and Instagram where I upload my weeklies and my weekend readings. And while you're waiting for your 2020 readings to come out, check out my 2019 readings, which are my playlist. Otherwise, audios from Veronica Garnett. I also have compatibility readings in my playlist. <laughs> like, share, subscribe if you can. Bye.